So you're minding your own business, just mining some sand in Minecraft, when suddenly, bam! Wait, sand armor? I, that's not a thing. Or you're down mining in the cave, when suddenly, bam! Wait, wait, what is going on? If you want good luck for the next 10 years, just like Sharky right here does, I need you guys right now to leave a like and to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the next 2.4 seconds, and the good luck will be yours. Did you do it? I'm already feeling better. I'm, I already feel the good luck. Thank you. Thank you so much. I don't know what is going on with my world, but for some reason, I'm able to craft all these crazy armor types, like sand armor, stone armor. Huh? And if you guys ask the same question, well, then you're right. Because today we're checking out the block armor mod. This allows you to turn any block in Minecraft into armor. Plus, they all have special abilities that each armor does differently. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to give myself 64 crafting tables. That works. I have yet to even try this. But if we can craft a birch armor, I think I would be the happiest tree in Minecraft. Get it? Because I, I got tree armor. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Is this possible? It's possible. Birch wood helmet. And the effect is regrowth. So with this mod in particular, anything that grows, such as trees. So any blocks that regrow, such as like a tree, for example, you'll actually re you'll actually regain health when you're wearing the armor, which is pretty neat to think of. Okay, I think the first thing I want to see, we're going to the end, okay? Or we're going we're going to the nether. This is like one of the first things I want to see. I've always dreamt of having nether rack armor and now well today's the day that i'm going to get it okay so we're right beside my portal here let's just grab some nether rack quickly and well i kind of want to make a full set of armor so i'm gonna just grab a bunch you know what let me grab some soul sand too you never know when you might need some soul sand armor if i'm being honest this soul sand armor is probably gonna be the bad armor <laughs> who even likes soul sand that much okay that should be enough okay nether rack armor come on what we have nether rack chest plate so it requires it says right here set effects it requires four pieces to be worn it ignites enemies after attacking or being attacked well, that's really cool. Let's go ahead and craft a whole set here because I want the full amount of effects with these. All right, we got the helmet, we have the chest plate, we have the leggings, and we have the boots. This would be the coolest camo trolling idea. I could just sit right here, and if I change my skin to all nether rack, you would probably never notice I'm even there. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, this is actually such a cool idea for a camo trolling vid. If this video hits 30,000 likes, I'm doing this for a video, okay? I need everybody watching to leave a like because I really want to do this now. Soul sand armor. Is this a thing? Is this a thing? Is it? Of course it's a thing, dude. Of course. So the soul sand armor actually gives you slow motion and it says live life in the slow lane. Okay. What? I don't know if slow armor is necessarily the best thing because, well, I kind of want to move fast. I'm just going to grab some more soul sand so I can make a whole set. But if it turns, if it slows down time like the superheroes mod did, okay, that would be sick. Uh, okay. Oh my gosh. All right. Netherrack armor, get off. We're taking a soul sand armor. Oh, wow. So it doesn't slow time down. It makes, wait, wait, it does. It slows the player down, but it also slows down gravity, too. Look, I'm jumping, like, really slow. Look at this. I could just levitate. Does this mean I don't take fall damage either? I don't know if I'm going to take fall damage from this or not. Um, but I could call myself a god now. I'm levitating. Yes, mighty big man, bow down to me. You cannot levitate like I can. Mwahaha. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I think this armor might actually slow you down a lot more than do do you much good. I can barely move. Does it slow down mining too? It doesn't slow down mining. It just slows down the player's abilities to move. Okay, pigmen, I am headed back. I will see you later. Yeet. <laughs> go, 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 go. No, no, they're coming for me. Yeet. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, no. Whew. All right. That almost ended really badly. I'm just going to take off the armor for now. This is absolutely insane. I'm just going to go in creative here, and I want to look at all the different armor types they have and then see if we can craft. So as you guys will notice in the creative menu, there is a new section here that says block armor, and there are hundreds of different kinds of armor here. There's bedrock armor. How do you even intend to get the bedrock to craft the armor? It says it's immovable. So does that mean you literally can't move when you wear this armor? Because that would make sense. Okay, let's just try. There we go. Okay. So I am in my bedrock armor and I seem to be able to move. In fact, I just have 
Like, I have three rows of hearts. So that's kind of lit. I have a bunch more health with this armor on, which makes sense. I mean, it's bedrock, to be fair. That is really cool. But I don't know how you're actually going to get that armor, okay? How are you going to mine bedrock? Let's be honest. That's been everybody's question since they first started playing Minecraft. Lapis armor? Wet sponge leggings? <laughs> what? They have TNT? No way! So you're telling me if I go to my crafting table right here and I make a... <laughs> that's, that's, that's exactly what it is. Oh my gosh. <laughs> It said the effect with TNT armor was explosive. No, oh, we might blow up. <laughs> okay, let's try this on. Okay, wait. Uh, explosive. Explodes and uses some durability. R. So maybe R is the key I have to press in order to explode. Wow. That is so sick. How much durability? Okay, so because I'm in survival mode, it didn't use any durability. But now, would this actually kill me? Oh, wow. It doesn't. It actually doesn't deal any damage to the player, which is awesome because, I mean, if you wore this armor and it, de it dealt damage to you as well, you would be really scared to actually use its abilities. But the fact that it doesn't deal any damage to the player, only the environment, is really sick. Ah, yeah! <laughs> Mom, I'm going to get home. Taco Bell was too much. <laughs> Oh my gosh, yeah, TNT armor is sick. There are so many different kinds. Like, dude, wait, was there... I think I saw magma. Oh, it's a jack-o'-lantern armor. Okay. Enchanting table armor, dude. What? Magma! There is magma armor, which I can see. So the cool thing with magma armor is not only is it actually animated, which you guys might notice, the textures move just like magma does, but it also gives off an illuminated effect, which is a source of light when you're in a dark area in the game. And it says right here, it produces a light of level three, which I can also use that ability with the R key. Okay, so I just, I just set it to disabled. Now, if I press R again, it would be enabled. So now if I go down... And I find a cave somewhere. All right, so we're in this very dark and spooky cave now. Uh, let's press R. So it seems to be giving off a very light effect around my character. Nothing too insane. Like, nothing that, like, you could probably only use the armor for. But it does give you a little bit of uh, some light. However, if you're looking for the perfect armor, I think I already know what you're what you'd be looking for and that is glowstone armor this one also gives off an illuminated effect but this is a produces a light level of 15 instead of three so let's go ahead and put all this on real quick oh wow this is like a legit torch this armor pretty much gives you the effect of a minecraft torch so this is perfect go ahead and grab yourself some uh, some glowstone and make some armor and you're good it seems to be a little glitchy though like when i'm walking around like it's flashing it's kind of sketchy a little bit but if you ran out of torches and you have okay really what in the world is going on on now if you did run out of any torches and this is your last resort well this is still a perfect thing that you can use when you're out mining with some friends guys as you've seen there are so many kinds of armor to this mod i mean we virtually could use any block and turn them into armor now like we have black concrete red concrete green concrete brown concrete blue concrete purple concrete i mean there's everything everything Okay, this armor kind of looks like Ant-Man, so I wanted to put it on. Okay, this looks sick. Come on, dude. Guys, if you guys want me to do a full review, if you guys want me to do a full review showcasing all the armor and all the abilities, I want you guys to let me know by leaving a like and subscribing to my channel right now. We're climbing up the ladder to 3 mil subs, guys, and I would love to hit that goal really, really soon. And maybe one of you guys might be the 3 million sub. Ladies and gents, thank you guys all so much for watching today's video. I'm officially, it looks like I'm Ant-Man. Oh, wait. I think I need to do it. I need to do it. I need to do it. Oh, okay. The glowstone armor doesn't work underwater. Just figure that out. But it doesn't in mine. <laughs> Ladies and gents, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a safe and fantastic rest of your day. And I'll catch you guys tomorrow in a brand new video. Take care. Thank you guys all so much for watching today's video. If you guys did enjoy and want to see some more from me, you guys see the videos over there, like that one. There's a playlist and then another video right there. Go check them out. They're really, really awesome. And I think you would really love to, uh, to watch them. But ladies and gents, until then, I'll catch you in the next video. Take care.